please. Well, the, your intention this evening was to take your own life. Yeah, I tried to commit suicide. And it didn't work. And I'm trained to, to take life. That's my specialization. And I can't believe the stupid thing. Well, you continue didn't work. to say your specialization. You didn't learn that as a police officer. Yeah, I did. Because I've never learned that. I've been a police officer longer than You're you. are not like us. We're the Mounties. We're, so I just have holes in my head. And he said, because that, he said, technically, I shouldn't be walking or talking right now. I should be dead. And he says, just that I'm just tough. I'm physically fit. So, mm -hmm. and even with these cutting my throat, I got in there good and deep. I was working it. And the, the doctor said that the, the arteries not, they move around. Well, they, I think that's a natural reflex for them to try to move out of the way. But I got in there good. I was like zigzagging it, and it just still didn't work. Damn it. Oh, well. Maybe a train will do it. <laughs> well, I can really, I can be very honest with you, Kevin. You, there'll be, if you ever get out of here, yeah. Well, so I can get on the train. That's if. If I don't. Uh, care. You're, you're facing. Pen time. Kevin, you're facing first degree murder. The punishment for first degree murder is life in jail. Mm -hmm. Oh, if that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen then. I want you to my intent me. was to die tonight. And because I cut my throat and it didn't work, I needed a gun so I could blow my brains out. And I need the only people who have guns are police officers. And so I went down to the hospital because the hospitals always have policemen there. And that's it. I wanted his gun. I wanted to die. That's all. I still want to die. You're a young man, Kevin. You have uh, a ton of things going for you. No, I don't. Not you have a beautiful man. wife. She's going to leave me for this. I'm not stupid. I know my wife. She's going to be gone after this. You'll always have a son. You're always a father. Do you have any other children? Yeah, a couple more. When you hurt yourself or when you cut your neck the first time, you said you did it three times today? Oh, I did six. I did three on one side. I just oh, dug okay. it in. Did yeah. it. Nope. 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 And then... Because it's supposed to work. But did you have it bandaged up when you went to the hospital? Yeah, because I was bleeding everywhere. It was so who, where'd you get the bandaging? At my house. Oh, okay. I just got some bandages and put them on it. Okay. That's all. And then I put another one on top of it. Because like, like, I'd get dressed and then all of a sudden, <laughs> down my front, and be like, gross. When, um, where'd you get the car? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I carjacked that at the, at the Tim Hortons. I told the guys already. I just took it. I, I this young couple. I said, "I need your car." And what they say? Um, okay, and they got out, and that was it. How did how did, you just told them you wanted the car? That doesn't seem like it works yeah. out like I that. I said, "Give me your car. I need it." And did mm -hmm. you have any weapons? You have your knife. No. Did you have your gun? Mm -hmm. Yes. I waved it around. Yeah. Whereabouts in the parking lot was it? I know the parking lot pretty well. Right in front of Tim's. Well, there's a police station right across the street. <laughs> you know, that's what makes it even really audacious. Well, why didn't you just go over there and wait for a police officer if you were looking for a gun? I actually was. I drove around their lot about three times looking for a guy, but they were all off shift. It's cold out. Well, I don't know. It was in between shifts because when I came over to the hospital, the, uh, I was passed by three cars, and they're heading back because I guess shift was over for them over there. You're, they were heading back. You were going down a green. I don't follow you. I was going to the hospital, and yeah. I drove, just drove past. Where were you me. between the time you took the car, the carjacking, and uh, the murder? Where were you? At home. home washing my clothes, washing the bedding. So you stole the car, went home, or you did the carjacking? Yeah. Drove the car. I went home. And I just cleaned up the place best I could. No. Would anyone? My parents. I went by and saw them. Showed my dad my cut, my neck and stuff. Just told them goodbye. Then they drove around looking for me. How do you know that? Because they sent me an email. How do you know he had an email? Because I checked on the computer when I was at home. Oh, it's on the computer at your house? Yeah. Okay. And laptop. Yeah? Well, we'll we're going to have to get a search warrant for your house. You yeah, understand that, right? Mm hmm. Um, and did you respond to the email? No. Okay. Sorry to say goodbye. 
and goodbye, did you tell them what the goodbye meant? Like, yeah, I'm traveling well, to Europe. But no, I just said I, I uh, tried to cut my throat and it didn't work, so I, gotta go, I had to go find something else, and I wasn't going to drown myself, because with my luck, I would fall in the water, my, and I wouldn't drown. So I, I had to get a find a weapon. I even drove by the, all the donut shops until it clicked in hospital. Like, no, this, no, I'm not being disparaging with donuts with the guys. It's just like we always went to the donut shops because they're open all night. Well, and you take a break. And you take a break. You're allowed to have breaks, right? Union breaks? Yeah. Well, we don't have a union, but yeah, but that's what you do at the coffee shop. People think it's because we're lazy or something, but it's just because they're open. Sure. And you get that sugar fixed too when you're tired working late shifts. You still think like a cop can? I know. Feel sorry? What oh, absolutely. There's nothing I can do. Nothing can be done. Like you said, you can't take back. Well, there is. You could say sorry. Are you? Well, to who? Somebody will be watching this someday. Yeah, I know. They're not gonna. His wife watch this. His kids. Oh my gosh, he has kids. How do you know? Because Thompson told me. No, some other guy. He says you're a what do you said you sack of shit. He has two kids. No, no, no. Sorry. The story doesn't cut it. So it's it might you might want to try it. No. no? Oh no no I'm not saying no. Hey down the road if I run into his kids if they come to me and they I'll I'll talk to them and I'll tell them I'm sorry. Well, with all due respect, Kevin, I don't think they want to talk to you. Yeah, that's good. I wouldn't want to talk to me either. You're not evil, Kevin. No. You've done something evil, and I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to understand why. I just wanted a gun. I wanted to kill myself. That's all. But you left a big piece of the puzzle out. What's that? What happened? I. Uh, my lawyer says not to say. My police instincts say not to say, and that's it. Well, oh, so you're the one that gets wait. to decide in here. Yeah. There's just you and me here. No, it's not. There's a video camera. And guys are watching, and every time they think of a question, they call you on the phone. That's what we do, too. I mean, you're all by myself, man. You have a phone, and they call you because they're enough. watching. No, they can't call me. Yeah, they're right. they're, there may be people watching, but it's, this but is, that's this what is we your do time, too. Kevin. No, well, yeah. we, we operate a little differently. This is your time. Like I said, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to say sorry. This would be a perfect opportunity for you to fill in the blanks. Like I said, like that's why I put the, that's why I put you to that position to you. If someone came to you and said, "Hey, give me your gun," as a police officer, you know exactly what would happen. You would not give your gun up. So I don't get where you think that you could go and approach a uniformed officer or any part buddy in the security industry and say, give me your gun. You're wearing, wearing two bulletproof vests, Kevin. No, you're, well, you're wanting me to give you a statement again. Well, I'm trying to understand, Kevin. And I'm sure everybody is. There's probably at least 800,000 people in this city who are trying to understand. Yeah. And there'll be probably hundreds of thousands of people in a couple days trying to understand. Millions. And this is your time to make them understand or to let them understand what happened. Because for the reasons I already stated, you don't approach a police officer. You know as well as I do, Kevin, if I were to touch your gun when you're in uniform, you know what you're trained to do. I know what I'm trained to do. I just have a hard time grasping what it is, what was going through your mind. Like I said, we have witnesses, we have stuff, we have evidence. I don't think that, that in, my, in my opinion, is not a question. The question is why. And with all due respect, Kevin, I don't think you wanting to end your life justifies the actions that you took. That's my opinion. There'll be a trier of fact who will judge that, not me. I just don't get it.
And I'd be doing the very same thing if you were the person that had been, had their life ended. And I'd be talking to you just the very same if you were the cop, which you are. You are a Mormon, right? Mm -hmm. You think your religion, I think, tells you you're completely, your damnation is yours, right? Oh, absolutely, I'm going to hell. Yeah. So why didn't you slit your wrists? Because it doesn't work when you cut your wrists. Because if you cut them the right way. Well, even you cut along with that, they'll bunch up together. The best thing is the throat. I should have gone, didn't the leg, maybe. For for moral artery? Yeah. I didn't know. After it didn't work, and I was like, whatever, I need a gun. When did you decide you needed a gun? What time? I don't know. What time did you cut your neck at? 7. 7 p.m.? Mm-hmm. And then you know what time you went out and got the car at? Did the carjacking? I walked over to the donut shop. Because you live nearby, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's down the street. Yep. So I walked over there, and then... The opportunity presented itself, so I took it. And uh, was it before or after midnight? Uh, it was way before that. Okay. And then you went back home. You went to see your parents. I went to see my parents. Then I went home. And Did you do anything else? No, I just kind of I cleaned up. It was a real mess. And then the, I kept spurting on the right side all the time. I used to be standing there and start spurting. So I had to wash my clothes a couple times. And I figured I wasn't coming back, so I just enjoyed laying on my sofa. Why did you figure you were not coming back? Because I could have been shot and killed at the hospital. It was suicide by cop. Well, you were wearing a bulletproof vest, two of them, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. How did you figure that was going to happen? Well, if you got lucky, hit me in the head. Triple tap, eh? Two of the chest, one of the head. That's what I'm trained to do. And this is the training in depot. But most guys can't do that because they get nervous. The first shot will go in, then the other two will go off. But you never know. But my, I just wanted a gun so I can go home. I wanted to die in my own place. I just wanted to go die in my home. My space. Not on the street or in the snow. That's what you caused. Yeah, I know. So. What did you tell the officer when you approached him? 